Welcome again to another further episode of The Armourer's Bench. My name's Vic and here we are again with another unicorn gun, rare gun. This is AAI's entry into the US ACR Advanced Combat Rifle Program. It's a fleshette firing uh, rifle which is to me having researched uh, previous AAI products such as the SPIW program it looks an awful lot like that lineage um, it is a, a polymer upper and lower cover with a, a, a full metallic uh, action it fires flechette rounds and originally the, uh, uh, the first version of this used proprietary M16 magazines which was dangerous to say the least because it didn't fire 5.56 ammunition it fired a um, polymer or plastic cased flechette uh, in single or three round high cyclic rate bursts so the magazine was redesigned so that the magazines are not interchangeable uh, it's a uh, uh, aluminium and a plastic uh, magazine with a plastic follower um, the base of this magazine is even marked AAI because it's proprietary. Uh, this rifle is similar to the Colt ACR in that it has a, a sighting rib, luminous rib along the top of the receiver with a fairly conventional front sight. What looks like a suppressor which is in fact a compensator for recoil and for um, signature, firing signature. Typically these rifles were fitted with an optic sight which this one is missing. Um, to cock the weapon it is fairly conventional, you have a cocking handle here, the ejection port is on the right hand side, the selector is uh, on the right hand side, it's not ambidextrous. Um, the butt plate on this and the sling swivels uh, strangely enough are standard M16 um, parts but the rest of it is entirely proprietary. The pistol grip is a, an exact duplicate of an M16 pistol grip but it's moulded as a unified part with the lower receiver. If we turn the weapon over, <coughs> we can see the ejection port here, which is rather large to allow the ejection of the empty plastic cases from when the flesh out is fired. I can see a cocking is on the uh, left hand side. It's a fairly short throw action, um, probably only about three inches. It fires from a closed bolt in uh, three shot and single shot mode. <clears throat> it's quite a handy weapon, it's quite ergonomic. I quite like it because it's, it's quite long and my arms are long. Uh, but I could see that if somebody that short statured it might be a, a difficult thing to shoulder. Um, let's do some close up on it and, uh, and see what it is. Here's the AAI ACR rifle. As you can see, normally the optic sight would fit it here. Magazine, paddle release, ambidextrous from both hand sides. Try to do it single handed is a bit awkward. Let's have a look. There's the floor plate. And on the base, AAI's logo. Fire selector, single or three round high cyclic rate burst. Quite a nice palm swell here, check it for grip. There's the gas system underneath the, uh, the louvers here. And there's the action. If we look inside, we can see the, the bolt and the extractor. When we find out how to strip this, we'll take it apart. Let you have a look. Combined flash hider, muzzle compensator. On the left hand side, here we have the cocking handle. It's quite a short throw as you can see, it's only about three inches. The action hinges here, but using these takedown pins, I can't get it apart, so there's obviously some trick to it. There's the ACR logo, serial number 20. Quite a conventional trigger. Pistol grip, very much like an M16. M16 sling swivel, 
and put cap. Unfortunately, um, I don't have a manual for this and I'll have to sort one out to see how to field strip it to show you the mechanism. So we'll revisit this the same as we're going to revisit this Steyr uh, ACR rifle program. Uh, but let's do some close-up shots so you can see it. Okay, thanks once again for joining me here on the Armourer's Bench and uh, looking at some uh, rare and interesting small arms um, from the past. Uh, we will be visiting more varied and historic small arms as we come across them. So keep watching. Please like, share and subscribe the channel and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.